Hi, my name is Amber Schuiso. I work at Midco. I'm the Director of Business Engineering and Operations. So it's, it's really fun and they're all, like my team is so awesome. They are so about finding really cool solutions for customers and trying the next best thing. And um, like I'd say the most common thing I hear in my office is like, hey, I wanna try this, what do you think about this? Come to the lab, let me show you something. And so it's, it's really fun. Um, I've never, I'd say after the first couple months, I haven't really thought about the male-female dynamics. I like to look at business engineering a little bit different. Um, I think what Midco does and the service that they provide is it can be life and death. You know, we service a lot of hospitals in the area and having them go down for 14 hours is, isn't an acceptable experience for them. And uh, you could just, you can take it as, oh, I received a phone call and this customer is not receiving good service. Like, oh, okay, I can handle that. Or you can really put yourselves in their shoes and understand what they're going through. What are they trying to do as a business? We, we affect their livelihood in a lot of cases if they're a small business. And then if they're a large business, it, it can literally be life and death. So I, I really like to put myself in the customer's shoes, try to figure out what they're going through, try to find solutions that'll work with them and really personalize the experience. With with engineers, I mean, they're, they can be very linear thinkers at times. So they can, like, they're like, no, this is how the solution has to be. And I think what I bring to the team is, I you know, and maybe as a woman, what I can bring to the team is I'll say like, hey, have we thought about it this way? Think about what the customer is going through. Are we sure we can't do it? And and they'll go back to the drawing board, begrudgingly, and they'll go back to the drawing board, but we end up, we always end up with a really good product.